In terms of defiance, uh, I mean, this is a really different thing. I mean, for Toronto, for Canada, we haven't seen a lot like this. And it's something I've been talking with, I've spoken to different casts, about the fact that it's so much bigger. Uh, what was it like on set in terms of the bigness? <laughs> I, I don't think I was the least bit prepared for what I was getting myself into. The first time I arrived on set, I was completely blown away at what they had created. And uh, I mean, you really do truly feel like you're in this whole new world when you're there. And then to add to that, the, the video game makes that world even more enormous. You know, where anything's possible, so it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular for sure. Well, in terms of that, I mean, your makeup, your your whole outfit, costume, I mean, that headpiece you end up wearing, what's the process like? How long does it take you to get in and out of that? It takes about two to three hours to get into makeup. Wow. Um, two on a good day, and it takes about half an hour to get out of it. So, basically, the process is I come in earlier than everyone else. <laughs> and they put a skull cap on and then the um, prosthetic actually slips over my head in one piece and then they uh, stick the you know paintbrushes through the mouth and the nose and the ears and glue it all in place and then they paint the whole thing so it's quite a process and I had never done prosthetics before so um, I was a little bit claustrophobic at first uh, it took some getting used to a lot of deep breathing exercises and <laughs> trying to learn to meditate but um, you do after a while you get you get used to it it's, uh, you know you deal with it um, it's not heavy so right so that that's good, and they're really good about bringing me ice packs in the summer and uh, <laughs> Kleenex to wipe my uh, nose in the winter, so <laughs> they take wow. good care of us. And I mean, in terms of the character, I mean, uh, describe uh, her for us. Well, Doc Ewell is uh, an indigene, so she's one of the aliens in the town, and she's a doctor. And she's um, she's a little bit of a misfit. She she doesn't fit in. She's very um, a lot of people describe her as cold. She's she thinks she's mathematical. She's scientific. Everything is very cut and dry. She's a little bit snarky. She's um, completely unapologetic about who she is. And I think she's she's a bit of a loner. She's not the kind of person that would be interested in getting a, an invite to dinner. <laughs> she doesn't get humans and I don't think she really cares to. Right. Ed, I mean, have you been a fan of sci-fi before this show? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I was a huge fan of shows like Firefly. Right. Um, and uh, and I've, I've read a bit of sci-fi over the years, but nothing like, like this. Uh, right. And of course there's Battlestar Galactica and all of those of greats. Um, but I'm actually just getting into a lot of them now because of this. So. Well, it's funny because what I was reminded of watching the show is that we've had a lot of really iconic doctors throughout the history of science fiction. I mean, TV especially. Right. Uh, so, I, I mean, I already think you kind of qualify. You, you, <laughs> well, thank you. The moment you were on screen for that that kind of first scene, it seemed like um, it, you know you kind of snapped into place. It's funny because a lot of people have, have said that about you know the the iconic science fiction doctors, and, and I say, yeah, well, but I watched Bones for my research. That was what <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the sci-fi doctors that I was looking to. It was Temperance Brennan and Bones. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, well, and I mean, I think there is that sense of humor, even for being she's so dry. At the same time, there is certainly that sharp attitude that right. comes through as, as uh, a comical demeanor at the same time. Right. I, 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 that's what I thought. That there's this um, similarity of not really understanding right. this how people tick, and Doc definitely doesn't understand how people tick. So, uh, you know, in terms of going through the series, what was the what was the biggest change that you noticed, not giving away story, but in terms of uh, just playing the character from beginning to end? Well, the incredible thing about television is uh, you get your scripts, you know, a few days, a week maybe before you start shooting, and right. uh, you don't really know a lot of times where your storyline is going. And even if you are given a little bit of knowledge, it can change at, at any minute. Right. Sort of more like, am I a good guy this week? Am I a bad guy this week? And in sci-fi, it can change so quickly. Right. So um, it was really exciting to kind of discover her as as the season went on. Um, 
and uh, there's some interesting things in store for her. You have to sort of wait a little bit, you have to be patient with Docuel, but she, she really does start to, you know, reveal in some of her secrets, and that's the fantastic thing about this show, is I think that all of the characters are very uh, well developed, and they all have secrets, and uh, the show's really good at drawing me in, wanting to know. Well, what it is about these people. What was your favorite part of playing her? What did you like the most? I mean, I'm assuming it's not the makeup process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but I do like I do like the prosthetics team. So right. it is nice to spend time with them. Um, but uh, I think what I like about her the most is the things she gets to say. She's definitely <laughs> the uh, the one that gets to say all of those fun, cranky lines. And I think she gets to say things that we as humans wish we could say, but we're right. too polite to say. And she just <laughs> says them. Uh, so so that's great. And we have a really good cast. Or we, we really yeah. riff off of each other really well. Uh, so we have a lot of fun. And I, I sometimes feel like when I put that mask on, Doc Ewell's there and she's staying there for 14 hours. So uh, you better deal with her. <laughs> Does the cast react you differently in and out of costume and in and out of makeup? It, it, at first they did. It was it was a kind of bizarre um, thing because, well, at first when I was in the prosthetic, I was so uncomfortable and I felt so restricted um, that I felt like I couldn't engage with people very well. Like, I thought, you know, I'm not eating my lunch anywhere but my trailer because I can hardly open my mouth and, you know, so it was it was this, I did feel a little bit like an outsider, which is kind of fitting for the character, Right. but um, after a while, everyone is talking to aliens like they're perfectly normal, but um, it is strange, the crew didn't know what I looked like, I had to introduce myself to most of the crew at the rap party, and uh, and then you find that you do slightly have different relationships with people yeah. in makeup and out of makeup. Like, I'm a lot more like this with people out of the makeup, but certain people, I, I get really, you know, like I give them jabs and I, I get away <laughs> with a lot when I'm in the makeup, I think. At least for now. <laughs> they might catch on. <laughs> Did you have any um, interesting moments with any of the particular cast, you know, throughout the, the arc of the show? So far um, in the seasons? Yeah, I, I, we... So, yes, yes, uh, we do. Um, I, I spent a lot of time with the mayor, Julie Benz's character, and Grant, um, and uh, so that sort of sort of develops, but without giving anything away. Right. <laughs> Uh, how were they to work with? They seem like really cool people. Yeah, I feel really grateful for the cast that we have because, of course, a lot of these actors are people that I've watched on TV for years and really right. admired and looked up to. So um, I was I was very happy to know that they're as nice as I had hoped. And, and we do. They're like we we just we have a ball. Like it's a great great group. Nobody um, has any attitudes. Everybody seems pretty humble, and I think we all want to create something great. So there's definitely Unity. That's cool. Yeah. Well, otherwise, I'm just wondering uh, anything else coming up for you? Well, I like. I was telling somebody earlier today, I said, I'm just like, this is the biggest thing for me, for sure. I've only been in Toronto for four years. Oh, really? So, uh, I'm still very new to this community, so I'm like every other actor. Now that we're wrapped for the season, I'm doing the same thing everyone else is, is running from audition to audition. Right. I always see what have, comes next. See what comes next. I always have lots of projects on the go, but you just gotta put lots of irons in different fires. Well, it seems like Toronto's pretty busy right now. I mean, it's it's been better now than it has been a few years ago, certainly. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's uh, Big feature films, too. I know, it's fantastic. We're getting some really uh, fantastic people coming to work with us, and uh, I hope it keeps going. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.